Kimura. Kimura gula naman ni Daghan. Okay, so there are 22 students lang, no? Nani sulod out of ilang kubok. Basta two sections mo because RSY and I, what's I, S, T, I, and I, W, I, S, T, one day and I, W, something. Okay. So, nasendan. Masiguro na akong link ang tanan. Ako sa tanahon, ha? O, oh, nasendan. Okay, so. Okay, so last time, atong Tuesday last week, wala na to na human ang discussion about the levels of measurement, no? Okay, sige. Um, let us again, balik na ko gamay. Okay, so let us recall again kung unsa ang variable na. So ang variable is a characteristic which may take on different values. So for example, we have sex, civil status, height, income, class ranking, citizenship, age, temperature in Celsius, standardized exam score, time of a day, IQ, and we have socioeconomic status. So these are all variables. Okay, kining mga variables have different levels of measurement. No? So, okay, so for example, we have the sex, the height, the class ranking, and we have the temperature in Celsius. Okay, so may differences ano nila. Okay, so kung kag sex, it's either male or female. Kung may ngun kag class ranking, it's either first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and all. No, pwede pod ka ng uh, with honors, with with high honors and with highest honors no so in an say kalahi an ani nilang duha anyone say na nakita ninyo nga difference between the two hello okay so kung Tanaw ni mo, ang sex, it's either male or female. You cannot, uh, this is categorical data, data tapos dili ni mo siya marank, no? Or dili ni mo ma-order ang iyahang pilianan, no? It's either male or female. Walay mas taas sa ilaha. Dili mas taas si male kang female and dili mas taas si female kang male. Again, ang ilahang pilianan is dili ni mo ma-order or marank. Kaya ang class ranking, ang iyahang ang iyahang values is pwede na to ma-order. Okay? So, na, okay. for example, we have class uh, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Of course, mas taas man si first, kasi second, si second, mas taas kang third. No? So, pwede na to siya ma-order. And, uh, for example, pag ka ng karun nga ginagamit, we have ha with honors, with high honors, and with highest honor. Okay, ato man siya ma-order, no? Ang una ang with highest honor, sunod with high honor, tapos with honors. No? So, money difference between the two. Okay, sa height is, kini siya is um, quantitative siya nga data. Diba? Okay, quantitative, tapos ang iyahang uh, kung yung kag zero meter, pasabot wala siya height. No? Kasi kalahian anin lang doon ha. These are both. Um, uh, Kasi tawag ane. Kanang quantitative nga data. Kining height of temperature. Ang kalahian lang nila is ang height is ang iya, kung may kag zero ang height pasabot or zero ang meet, uh, zero meters pasabot walay height. No? Pero kung may kag zero ang temperature zero degrees Zero degrees ang temperature. Ang sukod lang niya is zero. Na ay temperature, zero lang. So, muna yung nakalahian aning duha. Ang kalahian po na aning diri, kini dili ma-order ang iyahang values, kini pwede na tum order ang values. Kining duha, uh, ma-order ni Purustanan ang values ani. However, kini siya is quantitative ni siya nga data, no? Tapos, ang iyahang kini, kung may kag-zero, wala giyod. Dere, kung may kag-zero, 
sukod dra na siya na ay temperature zero lang. Another example is imuhang score. Kung makakuha kag zero nga score, dili pa sabot nga wala kay score. Zero lang imuhang score. Nagets niyo? Okay? So among this ang pagrupo ni sex is civil status, si citizen and si citizenship. The class ranking, we have the time of day, then socioeconomic status. These are both uh, pwede na to marank, no? So, of course, earlier ang 6 a.m. kaysa kang 7 a.m. 7 a.m. is earlier than 8 a.m. So, pwede na to order ang time of the day. Ang socioeconomic status ka ng um, uh, lower class, uh, lower middle, ano, no? naman na yung na, upper middle class, middle class, then we have the upper class. No? So, we have this category uh, variables na ang ingon ana iya ang uh, level sa measurement so unsa may tawag ana later atong tanawon nasugdan so, pud to nako atong miagi no dali dali lang to tapos na mahurot ang time okay then we have temperature standardized exam score and iq so kung may og zero pasabot dili uh, dili pasabot nga wala again kung zero dili pasabot wala Ang height, income, and age, this uh, have the same levels of measurement. Kung may kag-zero ang income, pasabot wala siya income. No? Again, kung zero, wala siya income. So, these are the levels of measurement. So, ang measurement is a process, di ba, of determining the values, no? Or label of the variable based on what has been observed. Okay, so moment ng measurement, diba? So, the four levels of measurement is the nominal level, ordinal level, interval level, and ratio level. So, ang lowest nga level of measurement is the nominal level. So, not ordinal, interval, then ratio. So, let's start with the nominal level. So, ang nominal level is ang data collected are labels, names, or categories. Okay. So, mga categorical data or mga qualitative nga data. Tapos, ang frequencies, ang, ang kung nominal imuhang data, imong usually ginabuhat ani is ginacount ni mo ang number of observations belonging to the same category that can be obtained. So, for example, we have sex as nominal level. no So, kung kana imuhang kwaon, pwede ni mo uh, ang imuhang i-describe dira is pila kabok male, pila kabok female. So, frequencies or counts of observation. Diba? So, that is nominal level. So, if you have the ordinal level, the data collected are labels with implied ordering. So, muna siyang kalihan nila. So, this one is labels, names, or categories. Kini, labels, names, or categories nga with implied ordering. Pasabot ma-order na to ang mga values. Okay, this does not indicate the magnitude of the differences between measurements. Okay, so next is interval level. Ang interval level is the level of measurement does, that does not only indicate ordering, so order gapon na to siya, but also the exact distance between the values of the measurement. Okay, so the value of this kind of measurement lacks absolute zeros. So kini siya mga quantitative data na ni siya nga pwede na itong order tapos na siya exact distance between the values of the measurement. Ang interval level lacks absolute zero. So again, lacks absolute zero. Pasabot kung may kag zero na agyapon siya. Zero lang iyahang uh, sukod. No? Or zero lang yun ang, ang tawag sa iya. Or again, ang uh, one of the examples sa interval level is ang temperature. So, kung may kag zero ang temperature, dili pasabot nga walay temperature. Zero lang iyahang. So, good. Another example again is your exam. Kung zero imong score sa exam, dili pasabot nga wala kay score. Zero lang imuhang kuha. Okay? So, that is interval level. So, muna kalahian nila sa ratio level. Ang ratio level has an absolute Zero. Pasabot. Kung may kag zero meters, pasabot wala agad siya height. Kung may kag zero kilograms, wala agad siya weight. No? 
kung zero ang income, pasabot wala siya income. So, muna kalahian sa interval level and ratio level. Okay, so, si sex, si civil status, and citizenship belongs to the nominal level. The class ranking, socioeconomic status, and time of the day, since we can order that, we have ordinal level, and that is labels or categorical data. No? Okay, then we have temperature in Celsius, standardized exam score, and IQ. Interval level na siya. And height, income, and age is uh, belongs to ratio level. And this is the highest level of measurement. So again, nominal, ordinal, interval, ratio level. So class dapat kabaluta ani before ta maganda kog research kay there are statistical uh, test nga mag require nga dapat ordinal ang imuhang ingon ani, dapat in ratio level ang imong ingon ani. So dapat kabaluta kung unsa yung nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio level. Okay, so let's identify or determine what level of measurement each of these variables are. Okay, zip code. Sama na. You can turn on your microphones. Nominal mo. Okay, that is nominal. Brand of shampoo? Nominal, ma'am. Nominal gihapon. Okay, ang weight? Mabutan sa ratio, ma'am. Ratio. Okay, ratio. That's correct. Have ratio. Police rank. Ordinal, ma'am. Ordinal. Room temperature in Celsius. Interval. Interval. That's correct. We have interval. Diaper size. Ordinal. Ordinal. Okay, we have XS, small, medium, large, XL, XXL. Okay, so that is ordinal. No? So, pwede na to ma-order. Okay, that's it for the levels of measurement. Okay, for the assessment sa levels of measurement, this is available sa atong LMS. Ay. Aman to. Okay, this one. Nadira a ang assessment for levels of measurement na anay ni attempt 4 out of 51. So, this is due today. Today, since na man may time, no? Tapos, dali rin po di mahuman ang next topic. So, the next topic is about um, sigma notation. Ito akong sigma, sigma notation ka lang, ha? Okay, so we have sigma and fact factorial notations. Okay, so I know nga uh, um naana moy ko ano naana moy knowledge about this kay this was discussed sa inyong high school pa nga statistics or sa inyong mathematics. We have sigma and factorial notations. Uh if I am not mistaken sa grade 10 this is used no kay sa grade 10 more on um combinatorics man ang ang unsa na discussion sa kuan ka ng mga um permutation combination di ba o man inyo hang mga mga klase sa grade 10 we have sigma and factorial notation okay sigma or summation notation Okay, consider the sum 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. So, notice that each of the terms is in the form of k squared, where k is a counting number, di ba, no? Or an integer from 1 to 5, no? Si 1, si 2, si 3, si 4, si 5, di square lang. So, thus, this sum can be written in sigma notation as, okay, the summation of k squared, where k is equal to 1 padulong kang 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that is a sigma notation. Okay? So, so ang sigma, ang summation na to, or the sum, is denoted by sigma 
and is defined as summation of x sub i as i is, is from 1 to n. Pasabot ana that is the sum of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 padulong kang x sub n. So please consider the values 5, 4, 8, and 6. Okay. Consider the set of values 5, 4, 8, and 6. Okay, so ang imuhang summation daw sa imong x sub i from 1 to 4. So that is x sub 1 plus x sub 2, x sub 3 plus x sub 4. So class, diri asa atong values, this is our x sub 1. No? Kini atong x sub 2. Muna naman atong sequence, ba? Then this is x sub 3. And this is x sub 4. No? Ngun siya ang sum daw sa x sub i as i uh, from i is equal to 1 to 4. So you have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus x sub 4. So that means we have 5 plus 4 plus 8 plus 6 which is equal to 23. Okay. So kung may ngun siya uh, the summation of x sub i squared from where i is from equal uh, is equal to 1 up to 4 from 1 to 4 so that is x sub 1 squared plus x sub 2 squared plus x sub 3 squared plus x sub 4 squared so that means mamatong x sub 1 no x sub 2 x sub 3 and x sub 4 that's 5 squared plus 4 squared plus 8 squared plus 6 squared okay remember ang square is multiply ni mo by itself no so 25 plus 16 plus 64 plus 36 is equal to 141 so then ang sigma notation so this is the sigma notation kailan na ba mag sigma tanan or the summation notation okay we have factorial yes. notation denoted by this one and is defined by uh, exclamation point ang iyahang notation for factorial no so n factorial is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times padalong kang n so n factorial is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n so by convention 0 factorial is equal to 1 so, ang 0, ang iyahang factorial is equal to 1, gina siya class. And also, ang 1, ang iyahang factorial is equal to 1. Okay, so let's solve for n factorial. For n is equal to 5 and n is equal to 7. So, kung may kag 5 factorial, so that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, that is equal to 120. And then we have n factorial. So that's 7 factorial. So you have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that is 5,040. Okay? So important na siya ha. Kaya mag-iskuta later o uh, kanang sa combinatorics na part or kanang sa counting techniques na part. Okay? So we have factorials. Dapat kabalutan na. Okay? And that's it. Okay, so again, the remaining time will be for your assessment, no? Uh, available just LMS. We have uh, sa levels of measurement sa ang assessment. Okay, to follow ra na ko ang unit 1 nga assessment. So the same gihapon for this Friday, 8 to 9 manta online gihapon. Okay, mag-meet man gihapon mo sa lecture. Tapos, I, I mean sa laboratory. Okay, for the laboratory, inyuhang instructor again is si Sir Milburn. Okay, so may I request sa IW, sani siya? Ilahi lang siguro na to ang ato ang kabasin maglibog mo ba sa IWX1. Ilahi lang siguro ninyo inyuhang <clears throat> GC sa laboratory and sa lecture. Kaya basin maglibog mo. Sa amuan ni Sir Milburn. So, ilahil ang ninyo ang inyong GC Hamrag. Nakita na ako nga isa ra ang GC na to for um, IWX1. So, ilahil lang ninyo ang lecture o ang laboratory. Okay? 
So for the lecture, mag-ingon na ko kung kanus at uh, mag-face-to-face again for this Friday online lang gihapon ang atong lecture. So dito na ta mag-lecture sa katong na ay mga solving-solving na gid nga part nga kanang mas nindot siya i-discuss face-to-face. Okay? Okay, ra class. Okay, at atong room to for lecture pohon is sa class 105. So sa class 105, uh, wala man dito i uh, smart TV. So magkuha pa magkukuog projector every time. No? So mo nang gili sa ko mag face to face dito pag ingon ani pa tong mga klase kanang mga dili pa kaayo complicated okay so for your attendance class since um na naman tayo face to face po no okay so akong gina-check ang attendance tuod so if ever for this semester we will have 36 ka ka unsa ni 36 ka uh, klase. So, pag 20% ana nga number of classes is imong mamis, pwede ka na ko i-drop. And also, pag nakay three consecutive na absences, pwede po ka i-drop. Okay? So, so, for example, we have 36 ka-klase, absent ka, ika-7, 7 ka book imuhang absent sa klase, pwede ta ka ma-drop. Okay? So, klaro ta na. For your laboratory, si Sir Milburn na mag, mag discuss sa inyo kung sa inyong buhatan sa inyong laboratory. I don't know if mag-research ba mo or mag-article review lang mo. Okay, questions? Clarifications? Okay, so change your name. sa ko sa unsa ni there is a zoom kaya akong i-check ang attendance we have 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so 9 14 19 24 ah, okay so there are 36 students can join Okay, so please open ang assessment and ang junior is today lang until 12 p.m. out 12 in the midnight 12 a.m. Uh, I mean 11.59 na siya taman sa gabi eh. So you can answer that within the day. Okay. So, sige. Ako na lang, di na lang ako ipaturn on inyong camera sa inyo halang names akong ang importante. So, ay sa lang mo og leave kaya akong i-screenshot. Ang IST1, on sa kang section gikan, Jeremiah. PWX1, ma'am. Ah, okay. Na-enroll na takas LMS lang ga. Ang IST1 o IWX1, isara inyo hang section sa LMS kay since dungan mo po na nga tong klase. Okay? So, that's it. Napay questions? Clarifications? If you have more questions nga wala ninyo na na Una-unaan ka ron. You can ask me sa Facebook Messenger. Okay? So, dili lang mo mag-message siguro sa ako ah, sa LMS. Kaya dili kayo kuga-check sa messages sa LMS. Para mas dali kung makareply, message me sa Facebook. Ma-reply mag ko. Basta makita na ako. Okay? So, that's it for today, class. Thank you so much for joining and see you again on Friday. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Mom. Bye.